Where are we going now? A safari. As we say in Harambe then folks, we say twin day and that means let's go! What? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Bojo and I'm going to be your driver for the next two weeks or so as we head into the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Just a couple of safety tips before we get going. First and foremost, if you are taking video or photography, this is my best side. <laughs> no, if you are taking video or photography, hold those cameras real tight. We are going to hit some bumps out there. Your hands have been sweating. So hold them real tight, because if you lose them, you lost them. I can't go back and get them. We leave them out there. The animals make great YouTube videos for us, okay? <laughs> so hold them real tight. Second, just remain seated for your uh, viewing pleasure and your safety. Got a game spotting guide up above you. I'm going to do my best to point out some interesting facts and figures. But guys, I'm a fan just like you guys. So if I'm looking left and there's something on the right, yell it out, help me out. That's what we're here for to spot animals, okay? Now, the reserve was first founded in 1971 to help protect local wildlife. And we've been having a ton of luck spotting lots of animals, so get those cameras ready. You may want to have them in your the chin action on there. You the might sport get setting, because we will stop occasionally, but a lot of our photos are going to be on the move. We're going to start the tour off here in the Little Ateri Forest. Here, I'm going to pull the camera out. And you're going to probably see some animals out. you might not be too back. familiar with, such pull as off on the right, out. this yeah. is the Okapi. And Here, the Okapi look. looks like a horse wearing zebra stockings, but it's not related to the horse or the zebra. It's the only known relative of the giraffe, believe it or not. And it wasn't even discovered until 1901, so we haven't been too familiar with it. Hmm? Now with all the shadows, we got to be real careful. I'm going to take it nice and slow because the animals do tend to blend in really well. So keep your eyes peeled. The watering holes like this do tend to be good gathering spots for the animals of the forest. Looks like we got a big black rhino against the wall all the way in the back. He's not being very cooperative though. You see his ears move once in a blue moon, but he's way in the back there. We've got some saddle built storks Look, over here on the right hand side. One down low, one up high. They get up to be about five feet tall, but they're even more impressive when they put their wings out. They got a nine foot wingspan. Oh, right up there, folks. Big black rhino up there. We almost yep. missed them. Right there. They get up to be about 3,500 pounds, and they can run approximately 30 miles an hour. How'd you like to have that coming at you at 30 miles an hour? You can see that horn on their snout. Unfortunately, there's only about 5,000 of them left because they are poached for that horn. So we got to do what we can to help protect them going forward. Off on the left-hand side, we've got the bongos. And right the bongos there. are called the ghosts of the forest. We can see them out in the open here, yeah. but normally they blend in really well, makes them difficult to see. And then we've got the kudus. The kudus are the second tallest antelope in all of Africa. You can see them in the back as well. They do tend to blend in really well. They're very, very shy too. All right, we're gonna go to another part of the forest now called the Safi River should be a good opportunity for us to see some hippopotamus. Now folks, we are going to be crossing through the river, so if we don't see any hippos on the right, just remember to stay seated. Oh yeah, we got one down there. Oops, sorry. Yeah, he's not being very cooperative. He's got his back turned to us like he's mad at us or something, so that just means get your cameras to the left side of the truck, folks. Because I have a feeling if we don't see him on the right, we're probably going to see him on the left. Oh yeah, a bunch of them up here. Watch, they're over there. Look, right there. Now folks, anytime you come out here on the safari, this is probably what you're going to see the hippos do. And they spend the entire day in the water and that's to protect their skin from the hot African sun. They can hold their breath for eight minutes, they will come up, get a breath, and then they go right back under. 
Now you'd think being 5,000 pounds that they wouldn't be good swimmers, but believe it or not, they are very good swimmers. They do prefer to walk on the bottom, but if they do need to swim, they are good swimmers. Hi, Keep folks. those cameras on the left Buzzy. now because down Buzzy. beneath us, as we head over this old rickety bridge, the Nile crocodiles. And folks, definitely remain seated here because if you fall in, I can yeah. assure you they will be hungry. Look, that one's posed. It's open his mouth for us right now. 